Hey y'all, how's it going? I am Seaham and I'm here playing some Geometry Wars and just wanted to talk at you for a few minutes about the channel and what's going on and Geometry Wars. Um, strangely enough, I made our last channel update when I was apologizing for not having any content uh, a while back um, when things were just really, really busy for Carl and I and we could hardly get together. Carl was buying a new house and starting a new career and spending um, a lot of time focusing on those things. We are busy at work uh, doing some projects, making some films uh, for my job. And anyway, that was back in the day. And we finally, uh, after taking our little hiatus, kind of got back together and started making some more videos uh, that you saw the results of a few of them, but um, lost some footage and some things just didn't just didn't work very well and we just weren't very happy with the way it came out because we we're kind of rusty anyway none of that is the point the point is we started up again and then um, literally just everything in my life absolutely fell apart uh, my dad uh, had a stroke he's only um, 58 and uh, suffered a massive massive stroke he's uh, lost a lot of mobility um, uh, on the, in his leg and arm and uh, his eyesight, which is weird, and can't talk very well. And I have been um, almost exclusively uh, trying to help take care of him. Uh, not necessarily take care of him in the sense that he's he's still in uh, in and out of uh, rehab centers and, and hospitals. He's been he hasn't been home um, for like three months now. He's been in some form of uh, care or another. But there's there's a lot that goes into that and I'm really kind of the only person dad has that uh, to help him with that. Um, me and my sister are pretty much the only people that can help him do anything so we've been uh, taking care of his house and all of his, just just his business, just, just stuff, you know, just lots of stuff. Um, so that has been uh, a bit of a nightmare and then also uh, I have gone through some personal things that oh, really kind of suck, but um, I, don't, I don't really feel like getting into all of that, but suffice it to say, some major upheavals in my own personal home life. I now live somewhere new, and uh, things are just, just didn't shape up the way I uh, had thought they thought they were going to go. I'll just leave that at that. And uh, and in between all of this, uh, sorry, car broke down, and our house, my new, the new place that I'm living in, fucking flooded, and having just just one problem after another, um, it's really kind of just been an absolute nightmare. I'm at about the worst place I've ever been uh, in my entire life. It's fucking awful. So, uh, needless to say, I have not had time to make episodes or get together and hang out with Carl, even just on a normal, non-late-to-the-game basis. Carl and I have barely hung out. Uh, he helped me rip all the carpet out of my house that uh, flooded, and uh, I helped him uh, <laughs> move a gigantic console in exchange. And that's about uh, as much time as we've had to get together and, and hang. But he's got some... Oh, shit! He's got some episodes that uh, he needs to uh, get me the audio to, uh, the Dante stuff. All of this stuff happened just before um, Halloween. So we were recording our Halloween episodes. We recorded a bunch of Dante's Inferno. Shit. Um, he gave me the first episode that night, and then we haven't really gotten together since then. Um, so I've got Halloween episode. And I think some more of the Kirby's Dream Force, I think we still have. Oh, that's going to explode. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay. Um, and I really have been looking forward to doing more of the... Oh my god. Uh, fucking spaceships. I hate the spaceships. Cheap ass bastards. Um... I've been looking forward to doing uh, more mobile game reviews. There's a lot of good mobile stuff out there that I'd like to shed some light on. I know there's 
there's other people that uh, also do that, but I don't feel like there's a whole lot of um, Android uh, specific uh, coverage other than websites. There's not a whole lot of uh, people that are on YouTube that I've found that are doing a whole lot of uh, decent Android coverage. Um, I mean, there's some. I'm not saying I'll, I'll be a friggin' pioneer in this or anything. It's mostly because Android games are a friggin' pain in the ass to record. If you want to record something on your iPad or your iPhone, you get a little special dingle hopper and plug it into your phone and record it. No big deal. Uh, Android phones have HDCP something protection, something like that, and you have to get um, a little stripper and a not a I mean not a stripper you don't have to I mean you can get a stripper if you want to get a stripper but that's not you have to get an HDCP signal stripper uh, which comes from these little boxes that you get that actually um, split HDMI like if you have one HDMI signal going in and you can split it out to like two different TVs or monitors anyway those things happen to not by design but kind of by chance um, strip HDCP anybody who is familiar with uh, recording the PS3 or PSTV before Sony uh, took that feature away. I think on the PS4 we'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, yeah, so you gotta get a special cord and then uh, get the little USB to HDMI adapter, which not many places carry. You gotta go to like a specialty electronic store, which I don't live anywhere near one. I had to drive all the way out to friggin' Arlington to get one. And then the first time I got one, it was the wrong one because uh, apparently there's two different kinds of mini USB or micro USB or whatever it is. There's something MHL and Slimport and lots of things use MHL or HML or whatever it is. I can't remember, but I bought that one first and it didn't work. And I was like, what the hell am I doing wrong? I had all this stuff all plugged in, had everything ready to go. I'd watched like 15 YouTube tutorials about how to do it. And then finally somebody was like, oh yeah, um, LG products and a couple of other different brands, which I use LG because I think they make really good um, devices. I have an LG tablet and an LG phone. Um, they use Slimport. I don't know what the difference is, but apparently there is one and I had to drive back and get the god dang Slimport, which was really hard to find. It wasn't even like the people didn't even know. I was like, I need a Slimport, blah, 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 blah. And they were like... Uh, yeah, it should be this. I'm like, no, that's the one that I just bought that didn't work. I need Slimport. Find me the thing that says Slimport. So, anyway, finally, they found it, I found it, and we, I got it. So, I've made one vid about my favorite mobile game. It's called Astrogue, and I'll have that up soon, but I wasn't super happy with the way it uh, turned out. I want to kind of polish it up a little bit, because I just kind of did it real quickly. It was, ooh, what the fucking explosions? It was um, kind of a proof of the experiment to see if I could actually record, so I recorded some footage of it and then did a little voiceover just talking about how I really like that game, and I wanted to do, you know, some some better decent editing and add some stuff to it and maybe um, tweak my voiceover a little bit. So, yeah, that should be coming soon. It's actually uploaded. I could release it right this second, but um, I wasn't super happy with it, so I'm going to mess around with it some more when I have some time which will hopefully be this weekend so if you're watching this now uh, Friday, I should be working on it either Saturday or Sunday and maybe have it up for you Monday we'll see I will see how the week goes uh, pa, 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 pa. okay so I don't really have anything else to talk about except that um, you might be curious as to why I am talking to you over playing Geometry Wars and that's because Geometry Wars is hands down, bar none, one of my top five forever favorite games of all time. I don't think... Okay, people look at me weird when I say this. I don't think that Geometry Wars is the perfect game, but I think it is a perfect game. I, I, I find no flaws uh, with Geometry Wars whatsoever. I never get tired of it. I never... You know, it continually challenges me. It never ends, so it's like, you know, you can only get better and better. I think my highest score is somewhere like 600,000, 700,000, something like that. Um, and as you can see, the last game I just did, I got 231. And I mean, you saw how crazy that was getting. Uh, so, 
yeah, it's just, god dang it, it's so much fun. There's so much to it, and yet it's so simplistic. Like, uh, when it starts doing this, you need to pick a corner, clear it out, and, and give yourself an out so you don't get boxed in by that X thing. Same thing with this situation when they shoot all the green ones at you. The green ones um, will come at you real fast, but they'll move out of the way of your little gravity well that your gun makes. So they kind of uh, they kind of dodge you a little bit. The, the blue ones just come at you slow and steady. They'll follow you everywhere. These little purple spinny guys here um, just float randomly, so they're kind of dangerous because they're unpredictable. The snakes, you got to shoot the heads. Oh, the god dang green ones. Um, the uh, yeah, the black holes there, the red holes, whatever. The little gravity singularities will. Um, you got to activate them first by shooting them once. And then they'll suck up. They'll suck up the bad guys. You can shoot them to take them back down, but the more they, yeah, they get to like a, a critical mass and then explode. Holy jeez, that was a little crazy. I lost track of where my ship was for a second. Um, I'm sure that this is old news to almost everybody, but it's just it's super great and. I think that the sequels are lesser versions. They added more features to it, but it's they don't feel as fun, they don't feel as fluid, I don't think they control as well. I don't like that they took away um, the gun power-ups, because that keeps things interesting, because you constantly have to kind of change your tactic depending on uh, which upgrade you have, and the upgrades just rotate uh, based on points. Like, you get a couple of thousand points and it switches to your Rapid fire, you get a couple of thousand more. Oh god, and it switches to uh, the spread shot. And ooh, they both kind of behave differently, and so you gotta react on the fly when you switch over. Oh god, that got insane. Um, oh, and these things, these fucking things. Yeah, come on, baby, come on, baby. Oh shit! Whoops. Well, that was a little silly. Usually I don't get taken out by those guys because that little thing op only happens every once in a while with those tiny little ones, there's thousands of them. Um, and what you do is basically hog as many points as you can possibly get off of that before hitting your bomb because they will overwhelm you. I don't, I don't think I've ever cleared. Damn, snake just popped out of nowhere. Um, I don't think I've ever cleared a full run of those. That was pretty good. What was that? Oh, 192? That wasn't that good. Oh, that's another thing I really like about this game is after your first play, you boot up the game, you play once. If you do pretty good, the game like recognizes it. They're like, okay, whoever's playing right now obviously knows what he's doing. Let's start ramping it up faster. Like it has a, a steeper incline to get to stuff. See, I'm already fighting four things on the screen at once. Uh, whereas if I had just started it, you know, a thing would be showing up maybe every 30 seconds to kind of ease you into the process of it. They just send out a couple of these little pinwheels and a couple of triangles and see now a green one's already showing up and they're chasing me. I don't know. It's, it's great. It's a great fucking game. I could play it and have played it literally for just hours and hours ever since the Xbox 360 came out. I've been playing this game for like, what, almost... 10 years now? Is it even longer than that, I think, maybe? God, I don't know. But I never get sick of it. I usually um, will add my own music to it. You can, like, put your own music on your 360 or stream it from your computer or whatever. Um, give you a bit of a playlist that's a little more interesting than just the same song. But even the music on it's pretty sweet. I don't, I don't get tired of it, really. See, it's already doing this. I haven't even got my first upgrade yet. There we go. Doing donuts. Oh my gosh, shit. It is funny, I wish that it would ramp it up even faster because it does take uh, a minute or two for it to really get going where you can really start racking up some points. And uh, so the first, you know, the first like minute and a half is always a little dull. You're always like, okay, come on, let's let's start getting crazy here. That's when that's when the fun starts. Yeah. Go up here, and then go down here. See how easy that was? That shit killed me like a hundred thousand times the first time I played this. Or, like five times. I am mostly just babbling now, but I don't want to stop. 
I don't want to stop playing. Um, so what else is going on? I mean, I don't know. That's pretty much it. How are you? What do you? Th what's your? What's your perfect game? I want to know. If you're if you're watching this and you've watched me ramble for the past, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, what is a game that you have played that it's not? You don't think it's the perfect game, but it's a perfect game for you. Like it has, you can't find any flaws in it. Because I find no flaws in Geometry Wars. I can just go on and on and on about how much I love it. Although surprisingly, I've mostly run out of things to actually say about it. Like I said, it's simple. It's a simple game. It's just, it really scratches an itch for me that I just cannot get enough of. It's frantic and never-ending, and you just always want to be better, and... Oh, fuck, what the hell is wrong with me? Yeah, the little gravity wells will kind of suck you into them. I'm usually much better at this. 231,000 is not even close to what I usually can get after a couple That's okay. I'm talking at the same time and not really paying attention. I'm looking at my waveforms too because I'm kind of trying out a new um, recording process. So we'll see how that goes. Because Carl does all of our... God dang it. Carl does all of our audio. So if this sounds like crap, I apologize. It's because I don't have the master uh, audio engineer that is Carl. I just have myself and my dinky little blue snowball. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you have watched, uh, leave me a comment, say hello. Uh, special shout out to uh, Tomato Bread Orgasm. He has been giving me some crap about not uploading anything. And Asperius, am I saying your name right? Yeah, buddy. And Sam. Hey, Sam. Uh, here is a video kind of explaining what the hell's been going on with me and the channel. And I don't know what the heck's going on with Carl. Hey, Carl, if you're watching this, fucking answer your phone, prick. Bye, y'all.